<laughs> hey, score one for us. We actually got up early. And now it's too dark to run. It's pretty dark. We don't know how well lit this trail is. <laughs> hey, this is week six. Today is seven miles. Stick around. You may not be able to see us, but we are seeing a lot of wildlife. Deer, armadillo. We haven't even gotten a quarter of a mile. A quarter of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear an owl right now, too. You hear it? Yeah. So right before we left this morning, I checked the weather. It was 78 degrees and 79% humidity. Yeah, I gotta say, even without the sun being up, it's still pretty blooming hot. Yeah. And very, oh, I'm sweating so much. Yeah, I know. Very muggy. It really slows you down, but that's okay. But I am so glad we're out here before the sun comes Oh yeah. Up. All right, back to oh. it. Hey, we're taking a quick break. We just ate some uh, energy beans. Have a little uh, electrolyte. Ooh, uh, feeling okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. Feeling okay. The humidity, man, it's, it's bad. really bad. It's really bad. But it's like covered in sweat. Again, we're we're doing all right. We're we're getting close to the halfway point. Yeah. We just need yeah. another, I think, mile. And then we turn around. Mile and some change. All right. We're almost there. Here we go. I just get to do all that again. Woo. Hey, halfway though. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's so hot. Jesus. Okay, just a little bit more. We'll have a recap for you. I'll probably uh, have a little footage at the uh, car. But oh man, week six almost over. Oh, here we come Walt Disney World Marathon. This uh, heat wave is creating a drought, and our creek is like totally dry. Man, everything looks so dead. Yeah, man, no kidding. I know. Those cracks are crazy. Running in the dark has its advantages, but sometimes, boy, I'm glad we didn't step in those in the dark. Eesh.
Disney World Marathon Training Week 6 done. We just finished seven miles. Oh. Stick around for the recap. <laughs> hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back. Oh, boy. Week 6 of our Walt Disney World Marathon Training done. Wow, what a, a run today. We want to tell you about uh, it. But first of all, I want to thank all of our subscribers, right? Thank you all so very much. Uh, we really appreciate you watching, uh, sharing with us, commenting, liking. Uh, and if you're new here, we are training for Walt Disney World uh, Marathon. Uh, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification button too because we are doing our best to upload a video every week. Okay, so today, week six. Week six? I keep wanting to say week seven. I know, it would it have been was perfect. A yeah, right. maybe we'll try to work that out next year. Okay. Seven mile run day, week six. Mm -hmm. We've been saying this repeatedly. This should be no surprise if you've been watching. It's pretty warm yeah. outside. And so we knew after last week, when we only ran three miles and barely made it through because of the heat, yeah, um, that we absolutely had to get out before the sun really came up. Yeah, and if you've been following along, you know we have been having a really hard time getting doing <laughs> that thing. Getting up early, so so look, that's not true. We get up early; it just oh, takes yeah. us a long time to get out of the house. Because yeah. uh, you know we're like sipping coffee, yeah. doing the crossword we're puzzle, doing the crossword puzzle, you know, talking, mm -hmm. whatever. Not running before the sun comes up. But 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 here's here's the thing. Take a look at this map of July 31st. That's how bad it is. And according to the story attached to this map, it was going to get worse. So yeah, and we're we're not special in this regard. I saw a headline today. Didn't read the article. Saw the headline. So assuming the headline was correct, <laughs> that something like 80 percent of the United States was going to be over 100 a day. So. Um, we've been hanging out here for a long time and we had some footage of like some pretty rough, um, we need some rain. Yeah. We need some rain. Oh, it's yeah. real bad. The dry creek bed. Um, yeah. Our mm. San Gabriel river is dry. Yeah. There were big like breaks in the yeah. trail because the earth is so mm -hmm. dry. The trees are looking dead. Uh, trees are dying. Grass is dead. Yeah. Like everything's dead. It's really bad. I mean, we it's need a, rain. This, this is a global thing too, because yeah. you know, a lot of people, uh, uh, across the world experiencing uh, yeah. temperatures that are just out of the ordinary. Yeah. So anyway, we got up early. So we got up early. Our goal... More important than we got out early. <laughs> true. Our goal <laughs> was to get up at four, we take did. Millie Dog for her walk by five. We did. Ish. Um, And then get to the park by six. We got up at four. I was very tired. <laughs> We went to bed early. Like I, I fell asleep on the couch in the eight o'clock hour. But for some reason, when we got up and went to bed at eight forty-five, I like laid in bed awake for a while. I don't know. It's pretty, pretty frustrating. We're, we're, we're like we're, we're like an old couple, right? So dinner for us is like, like four. That's a little on the late side, but yeah, you know. And then we fall asleep in front. We of the tell TV. people it's at four. It's normally a little bit earlier. <laughs> we, we we fall asleep in front of the TV at like seven, you know. <laughs> anyway, so we did. We got up early. We did get Millie mm -hmm. out, and we did get to the park. Yeah. As you noticed in the footage, it was, it dark. was dark. Yeah, it was so dark. We kind of sat in the car for a minute, waiting for it to get light enough mm -hmm. for us to see what we were doing. Because yeah, because we uh, we started. Yeah, dark eyes can't see mm -hmm. at night. Uh, but we also started at a point in the trail where we don't normally start, or in the past we haven't started this year training we've started over there because it's like an easy way to just get some extra mileage it's like mm -hmm. takes a mile to get to the rest of the park where we normally run yeah. so it's helping us like you know make some miles up and in fact today it felt super fast yeah. running down to the park just running like two and a half is that right yeah two and a half miles in the park and then coming back and making seven it was like yeah. I, I don't know mentally it just seemed easier yeah. for some reason and the, and it's you know it's relatively new scenery too mm -hmm. so that helps a lot yeah mentally. it's not the stuff we've been looking at for three years yeah. training for these races <laughs> um so we weren't familiar with how <clears throat> lit it was 
in the dark. Yeah. So we kind of waited for like the sky to get a little twilighty. Yeah. Um, and then we headed out. We saw tons of crazy wildlife today. Yeah. Deer. A deer almost immediately was like and, running with yeah, us. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not so sure you could see that in the footage because it was really it was dark. dark. But this deer was just in front of us and kind of like, okay, what are you guys gonna do? It was yeah. really awesome. And then. We saw an armadillo. Two armadillos. We two. Yeah. One, yeah, one at one point, and he crossed the sidewalk and yeah, his little nails. Little, his little armor. Little dinosaur yeah. nails. Yeah. yeah. Um. Cool. So yeah, two armadillos. We heard an owl. I know we have mm. owls here, but I've never personally seen one. Mm. Bless you. Um. So. Thank you. <laughs> still, it's that important to me that you be blessed. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> and, and I am. Uh, Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, and then what was the other animal that we saw? Oh yeah, at one point we're running along the trail. This was like two and a half, three miles in, and uh, there were a couple of trees that were just chock full of grackles. That's oh, our yeah. like blackbird here. We yeah. call them grackles, yeah. um, and they were all just like taking off. So like hundreds of birds just taking off, and it looked so neat. I stopped and watched it for a little bit, and, it was and you were like, "Come on, let's go." I'm like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll it, be there in a minute. It was really loud yeah. too, you know, they're just, well, when they were just squawking it. Oh yeah, they're, they're noisy birds. So it, it, it was, was great. It was great. Yeah. It really was. Um, and again, getting out early. Man, lifesaver. It was still 80% you know, so humidity. Right now it is, we just checked, uh, it's uh, uh, about, uh, it's like 83, right? It's 9 82. in the morning. It's, yeah, it's uh, 82 degrees and it's 78 percent humidity but the weather app says extremely high humidity yeah, <laughs> yeah. but here's the weird part it's 82 degrees but it's 88 in the shade and it feels like 92. it's we it's really yeah. weird so i remember um well this year at the marathon this year one of the things the starting line announcers were reminding everybody was hey everybody it's humid so remember your uh, sweat isn't going to cool you off uh, as much as and it uh, doesn't and it, it doesn't man it just kind of weighs you down and, and you're just like sopping wet and and you know we don't we oddly enough there's hardly a breeze today so mm. like you it was really stuffy so yeah. so really really glad we got out early and the other thing that kind of worked in our favor too is there was a a cloud bank along the horizon mm -hmm. so as the sun started to break uh the horizon uh we were still kind of uh, uh shaded so that was yeah. that was bonus right yeah because we were out there for an hour and about 40 minutes <clears throat> so by the time we got back the sun was up um but yeah it was mostly we we're mostly shaded from it still it would have been unbearable if we'd left any later yeah it really would have been. Yeah, it would have been. But um, we took along our uh, electrolyte mm -hmm. uh, drink, mm -hmm. our Propel, and, and we took some uh, uh, energy uh, beans. Yeah. yeah, seven miles, we don't normally need food yet, but we decided to take some just in case. Yeah. On our next long run, we'll definitely need to go back to our... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some kind of real fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, found out a couple of things. Uh, you need... It's shoes. time to change my shoes. Yeah, I, I can always tell uh, when it's time because my feet hurt and then other things hurt. So we were, let's see, we were just coming back under 35. It was probably almost four miles in and I was like, oh, my feet don't feel supported anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I can feel my arches, like don't have, I have inserts in my shoes, mm -hmm. feel the arches like not quite giving me support and like my feet just felt really flat. I'm like, oh, okay, it's time. And then later, I started to get like little pings in my ankle. That doesn't normally happen to me later in a run. Like that's normally like me warming up, um, you know, like the first mile or so, maybe two miles. I feel a little like dink, 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 little shooty pain in my ankle. And then I got a couple in my knee. I'm like, okay, it's time to change. The good news is that I bought an extra pair of, I love my shoes. I think they're gorgeous. Um, so last year when we were training for last year's marathon, or this year's marathon, um, I bought an extra pair thinking I might need it. Before race day, I ended up not needing it. And in fact, now I'm like six months past the marathon and just now needing to change out my shoes. So I'm set for new shoes. Sweet. I'm gonna change them out this week. My oldies are gonna be my new walking shoes and then I'll have some some fresh kicks. Yeah, we week. definitely have a couple hundred miles on our shoes. 
Never really added it up, but I bet you're right. Yeah, I, bet, I bet we're pretty yeah. close, if not over. And I, I uh, so that, that kind of reminded mm. me to take a look at my shoes and they're, Them they're too. yeah, they're wearing kind of thin in the sole. So looks like I'm going to have to go get some shoes. Yeah. So uh, stay tuned for that video because uh, our local uh, Fleet Feet uh, has awesome uh, 3D imaging of your feet and uh, they do such an awesome job with fitting. And so we'll see what kind of the kind of shoes I yep. end up with this time. So that happened today. Uh, overall, though, uh, feel really good. You know, our uh, our exercise regimen, you know, we're using that uh, really cool chart. Uh, we're filling that thing up and, uh, you know, feeling really good about it. Stay on track. And, and seriously, feel better because last time, uh, you know, like we said, we were using walking as a, yeah, we did something today and that doesn't count. Yeah, so, For us, it doesn't count because yeah. we do that every day. So uh, we're on track. Yeah, and in fact, coming into the last mile today, I was thinking, okay, yeah, I'm tired, but I can like feel my glutes working and my hips, which is good. Yeah. Because that's what all of our PT and our ab yeah. work and everything else is like trying to get the strain off of our legs and into like our core where, you know, it's like the root of that movement. So yeah. oh, that yeah. stuff is paying off and yeah. it's neat to feel... Yeah to feel it, you know, yeah. after years of running yeah. and having my legs like do the bulk of the work, it's like really neat. Yeah, thank neat you feeling. very much, PT. Yes. Uh, Cause uh, yes, you indeed. Know, figuring that out, my knees are uh, feeling really good. Uh, so there you have it. Mm -hmm. Next week, we run four miles. Correct. And then the week after, nine. Nine. So, you know, it just kind of keeps building and building and building. Now, the big thing uh, coming up for us, we have been chanting 36, 36, 36 right? 35. 35 tomorrow. 36. 36. That's the number of days till our trip to Walt Disney World. Yay. Oh, man, we're really excited. Yep. We're going to be there on a non-race day. That's our first time. Yeah. To go to Disney World and not have it be a run Disney event. Oh, man. You're Isn't right. it? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. So, ooh. But we are going to run while we're there. Yeah, we'll run. Uh, and, you know, we'll share all of that with you. Uh, and, you know, the park stuff because, you know, it's cool. And uh, we, haven't, we haven't been since January. Yeah. So, yeah, we're really excited about that. Let us know how you're doing. Keep the comments coming. We really appreciate you watching. And, uh, yeah, well, always an adventure with you.